Okay, uh, yeah, and I ended the last one abruptly there. Um, if you are c checking out this game, we are just going to talk a little bit about, um, you know, the game and kind of what's coming up. Uh, I'll probably just post an annotation on the end of the last game for people to click on to come here, uh, but this is going to be our spoiler game. So if you are watching this and you haven't seen the previous game, shame on you. You shouldn't do that. Uh, that's just lame. Um, but we, we kind of ended with Steve chatting a little bit. So Moltrap, I mean, uh, you're definitely a non-believer as far as yellow <laughs> being able to make it, right? As far as I as far as I'm concerned, and I haven't, I have it, has he even played Calm yet? He has. He so has. I don't, I don't okay. know what the results are. I have no. Idea. See, I didn't even know he had played those games yet, and for me, either. they're already they're already won. They're already won by Jay Dong. Um, Calm might take a game, but Jay Dong, as far as I'm concerned, already won that series. Jay Dong has already won the OSL, as far as I'm concerned, because. Yellow. I mean, we're looking at his stats earlier, right? What does he have? Forty-eight percent or yeah. something like that. <laughs> ZVZ. Yeah. So, I mean, think about it. Luxury. When Jadong had a seventy-eight percent win rate in ZVZ, and Luxury had like a sixty-nine percent or something like that. Luxury was the best ZVZ before Z Jadong came along, and the last several times they've met, Jadong has owned yep. the crap out of Luxury. Yeah. Um, the only sign of weakness we've ever seen in Jadong in ZVZ is recently against Effort, and he lost 0-2 in the GOM series, yeah. and then beat Effort 2-0 right. in the Pro League and said, you know what, that was a fluke, punk. You're just a punk, and I am Zerg versus Zerg. Um, <laughs> Zerg versus Jadon. Zerg ver yeah, it's Zerg versus it's JVZ. It's JVZ, a different yeah, right, matchup right. altogether. If it was, um, you know, Effort or, I would say... Even like over Sky, if he managed to somehow get this far, um, you know, someone like them, I, I say might have a chance, maybe like a one in ten chance. But calm, uh, you yeah. know, he's been yeah. playing well. But yellow, uh, I'm I don't think they have uh, a snowball's chance in uh, a microwave, to be honest. <laughs> and I do want to say something about calm. I, I felt that I mean. Calm has played really well. A lot of people. I are love like Calm. Don't get me around. wrong. I he's like a, Calm. He's a, a lot. great player, but I feel that even his his last ZVZ victories, I think didn't he have to get through effort or something like that? I, I'm not sure who he had to get through, but mm. they were build order wins. Like two out of three of those games were build order wins. He he just nine pulled pretty much every game, and I think it was effort actually, who went like twelve four or twelve hatch, and he pretty much just used the build order went advantage, and you know didn't didn't mess up at all, and, and he won. And calm a lot of or, or calm, calm did. Okay. So to win that series, it was pretty much two game, two out of the three games were bid order wins, and then he won the first game. I think he actually went 3-0. Actually, I could look him check, but I won't right now. But pretty much, um, you know, yeah, it's hard to say how good Calm is at ZVZ just because I feel like those are bid order wins, and I don't think he's going to get a bid order win off on Jadong. Right, um, Jadong conquers bid order Because Jadong conquers bid order so wins, and he matter. usually picks the right bid order. But right. um, one thing I want to point out about Yellow is you're a little... You're a little off. I mean, you say that, that Luxury is, you know, Luxury hasn't played well against Jadong, but Yellow and Jadong have met eight times and are four and four. Wow. Really? So if you look at their history. When were yeah. those games? Well, yeah. yeah. Okay, those games. When were those games? <laughs> 2004 when they were down there. No, They've no, actually okay, played look, off. Look, the they last, the last four games between February, their Pro League. There's Pro League games in February and April. Right. And then most recently in July. Um, but, but. Three, the last four games where they met up, Yellow won three of those games out of the four. Wow. Right. So, you know, I, I really feel, still want to say that anything could happen. Um, and, you know, Yellow has all the time in the world to prepare for it. Um, no, the, I, last, the last four games they met Jadon oh, won. Oh, Jadon won. Three Actually, you're right. And you're right. I'm one, sorry. And yeah. two of the wins that Yellow has were from 2006. Right. So I'm not going to count those, to be completely honest, in my opinion. Ah, uh, well, uh, no, let's see. One of them's, yeah. <laughs> Still, all right, whatever. Okay. <laughs> Statistics are you're, there. Okay, you're right. You know, I'll upgrade yellow. I'll say that he also has a one in ten chance. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll give him the. I'll give him a slight chance of victory. I, I, but uh, you know what? You want to put money on it? Dude, right, right here. <laughs> Just so you know, this is the internet so you know, while listening. You can go check the SC2GG predictions. I have Jadong winning in the MSL and the OSL. So that's where my money lies. Yeah. Right. Uh, but I just want to defend Yellow a little bit and give him some credit because I do right. think he's a good Fair player. Um, he, might, well, so. he might take a game, but I don't see anyone taking a best of five from Jadong. No way. And, and here's the thing is, okay, so we saw Yellow. He played creatively. He did that whole... Uh, supply kill, which uh, I think that's brilliant. Um, I mean, I could see more players doing that. But the problem with that, that was cool. it was very cool. The problem with that is Jadong's going to see that and research that and go, huh, okay, all right, well, I can I can see that now. You might try something like that. Mm. And here's the thing. 
I don't think you get much more creative than zero in playing. And zero has the same percentage against Zerg as yellow does, and zero obviously got stomped, which is why Jadon is where he is right now. So, you know, so again, yes, the, certainly it's there. And, and don't get me wrong, I mean, I'd love to see an underdog kind of thing. I love seeing underdogs win. Who doesn't? You know, having the unexpected win, I mean, you know, seeing Taza beat Bisu in his first game in the Pro League, it was like, oh my gosh, you know, and hearing Caller say it, Taza, every single time. It's, you know, amazing. Uh, but, but again, you know, Cinderella <laughs> stories, when you have somebody like Jadong, I mean, I think Jadong could beat down Cinderella, no problem. So... Anyways, I, I, I agree. I'm so lost now with what you're talking about. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. That's actually the MSL finals is uh, Jadon versus Cinderella. Right. She's, <laughs> she's sitting in for, uh, for Iris. And that, that is the one thing I'm not really looking forward to is we're going to have a nice epic, uh, you know, uh, MSL and OSL semifinals. And then we get to the two Zerg versus Zerg finals yeah. possibly. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know if Iris – I don't think oh, Iris – Iris versus Quanro. Quan yeah. So I don't think Quanro will beat Iris. In my opinion, but well, I don't think so. Just, either. just right now, the way Iris is Quandro playing, has his Quandro, moments, Quandro right. is able to. At least. Yes, yes. Right. He is I'm just saying it's feasible capable. we could have two ZVZ finals in a row. What we'll probably see in Quanro cool. versus Iris is like SCVs versus drones because they're so aggressive that they're both <laughs> yeah. just gonna pull their initial drones, <laughs> four SCVs up, done. Just go crazy. It'll be like make one extra one as their reinforcement. One, one zergling and like five drones versus like oh, six SCVs, and it'll just be Dude, epic yeah. aggressive. But yeah. Iris has shown though that he doesn't need to just play aggressive to win. He held out against Bisu, right. you know, which was a ridiculous game, Don't by the way. Don't get me started on that. But <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's why I'm glad he's... Failsu. He's, I mean, I don't know why he's going... Uh, I think he's, they still call him Ngom, they still call him Berserker, but I'm mm. glad... I, I like Iris better because he does know how to play not Berserk, and, you know, it was oh, like, yeah. oh, he's called Berserk, so he's just always going to be aggressive, and that's just how he is. And no, you know, he's definitely not always like that. But I, Quanro, it's funny, Quanro, who every time I think of him, I think of Quanro. I think of this Korean dude with Quanros, which I've never seen before. But literally, I'm sorry. I, I always think of saying Quanro. There, there is a guy actually on Samsung with Quanros. Oh, my God. Okay, I, I need to look him up. and But then I'll think I of think him. I think it's TT. I'm oh not gosh. sure, though. Well, the way it but. stands right now, we've got... Zerg vs. Zerg finals in the OSL and possibly Zerg vs. Zerg in the MSL. And I gotta say that kind of sucks. I'm really hoping at least we can get Iris vs. Jadong or Iris vs. Calm or something in the MSL. Right. Um, but because I just think that, I mean, what kind of interesting builds can you really plan Zerg vs. Zerg? It's like it's more just trying to outthink the other player and like over reverse psychology. Am I gonna nine pool or over pool or twelve hatch or whatever? Right. So and that's one thing that could be towards Yellow's advantage is if he wins all those mind games and just gets a bunch of build order advantages i mean that's where you know he's a good enough zerg player where you know jadong might not be able to overcome that right that huge disadvantage if, so. but, but man we've just seen jadong come back from so much i was going to mention speaking of that uh i really feel like jadong and gom tv was almost a throw like yep i felt like that. like i felt like jadong this is how i feel he did he was like sweet i'm in the osl and msl i'm gonna practice for those and i'm not gonna practice at all for gom because Korea doesn't really care about GOM, and I, I like I like GOM. I think it's cool what they're doing, and, and you know it's the biggest prize pool in Korea, blah blah blah. Um, and of course, I like you know I like Super Daniel Man. I like I like uh, Tasteless um, and everything. Yeah, but uh, I'm not sure actually what, what time we have on the recording, but uh, we're, uh, we'll be done here in a moment. But what I was yeah. gonna say is I I, I feel like that that uh, Jadong probably didn't practice for GOM, and they're like I'll just see how long I can go. And then he went up against effort with the pressure of MSL and OSL on his shoulders and pretty much said, whatever, I'm just going to go and play. <coughs> and, you know, he lost. Yeah, I didn't feel that those losses counted for much, honestly. Right. Everybody was saying, oh, effort's better than Jadon because he no, throwed no him. No way, but dude, no way. I didn't, you know, it's hard to ever say that a pro gamer throws a game because I just don't, I don't think Jadon's no, the no, person that would do that. I don't mean that but, literally. But not that he didn't throw, it's just that, like you said, he wasn't he didn't trying as it. hard. You right. know, there's a difference between trying really hard and throwing a game. Right. He just, you know, doesn't care as much about it. He's got three mm. other things to worry about. He had the pro league get finals going that's right, on too, at the same that. time. Yeah, he had three. So yeah, wow. he just didn't practice very hard. Well, I think that's gonna do it. You guys yeah. got anything else? No, I think it's good. Uh, you know, Go Yeah, I'm sad. I'm sick corner. I'm sad to see Fantasy walk away, but yes. I'm also excited about Jadong and the possibility of doing a a uh, double kill here with uh, with the OSL and MSL. So. Uh, as far as the finals go, I'm not sure how we're going to do that. Uh, if we are going to cast it, we may even watch it live at BlizzCon. Um, I'll probably post another post about BlizzCon details if anybody wants to meet up. Uh, say hi to us or whatever there. Um, you know, that would be great. So, 
All right, guys. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks, Moltrop, again for hanging out. And we'll see, you guys. we'll see you guys later. Peace out.